गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू नॉन स्टॉप न्यूज आई एम पालक घोष विद यू वी फर्स्ट हर्ड इट फ्रॉम वेस्ट बंगाल चीफ मिनिस्टर एंड तृणमूल सुप्रीमो ममता बैनर्जी कॉलिंग संदेश खाली एस तील के ताल मींस एक्सजरेशन नथिंग न्यू दो वी हैड हर्ड फ्रॉम हर ड्यूरिंग पार्क स्ट्रीट गैंग रेप ऑफ सुजर जॉर्डन कॉलिंग इट एज छोटो घटो ना पेटे इंसिडेंट देयर आफ्टर वी हर्ड नंबर ऑफ एमपीज MLAs, members in Trinamool, calling the Park Street gang rape by different names and different, uh, giving different versions to it. Some of the MPs called it perspective of rape, while another called it it was actually soliciting, indirectly calling Susan Jordan a sex worker. Now, of course. we have actress and tv anchor rachna banerji who anchors a popular television a bengali television show on a private channel now i would like to give a little idea about this show because unless and until i give you a little idea those who are not aware of the bengali television may not understand why i am bringing this issue here rachna banerji holds a tv show called didi number 1 yes the same show where mamta banerji had participated last sunday and the show had already hit headlines and controversy because people had questioned mamta banerji who couldn't for once visit shandesh khali in spite of the locals the women screaming accusing trinamool leader sheikh shah jahan who is now of course in the net but accusing him and his goons of picking them at the middle of the night taking them to the party office trinamool party office keeping keeping them for days raping them molesting them and once they are finished they would drop them not only this the women even said the beautiful girls and beautiful women were kept for days further the women said if today the goons would have taken the aged or middle aged the next day it would have been the teenagers or the young girls in the family in the household and the households were warned to be prepared for this when such things we are going on we didn't hear a word from chief minister mamta banerji forget about visiting shandesh khali on top of that she called it til ke taal exaggeration and today rochana banerji who has been nominated for the lok sabha elections 24 lok sabha elections from hugli opposite lokit chatterjee bjp candidate while talking to the press rochana banerji elated over her nominations understandable agreed she thanked the chief minister or the party supremo for nominating her but then when the reporter asked about her reaction on chandesh khali she said that first it needs to be found out whether these allegations are true while talking to the press rochana banerjee said it needs to be found out first whether the people in chandesh khali the women in chandesh khali are at all saying the truth or faking further she said that she will talk to these women what was she doing all all these days she had time to invite chief minister mamta banerjee on a show she had time to invite other guests on a show chandesh khali was burning for over 54 days now of course it has crossed month she didn't find to talk to any woman in chandesh khali and now after being nominated she says that she have to talk to women in chandesh khali to find out if they are faking or the incidents were true has she become so big an anchor 
is she such a big anchor that she will find out from talking to people in Chandesh Kali and finding find out that the people in Chandesh Kali, the women who are screaming that they were raped, they were gang raped, they were molested by Sheikh Shah Jahan and his goons are faking or not. And these people will go to parliament. They are the future parliamentarian. Congratulations Trinamool for nominating such people to the parliament. Being a candidate of Trinamool, it's natural for her to question the authenticity of Shandish Kali because her supremo had called it Til Ketal exaggeration. Like Park Street gang rape, we heard from many police officers, senior police officers, unable to confess, unable to question. Because Trinamul Supremo had called it Choto Ghatona. And the investigating officer, Domain Tishen, who dared to prove that yes, rape had taken place, was sent on an exile posting. Message was clear. Don't utter a word if you dare to utter a word against Trinamul or Supremo, then you will have to face the music. And today we have Rochana Banerjee, the candidate from Hooghly, questioning the authenticity of the incidents in Chandesh Kali. I mean, I can't believe that a women candidate. I understand she is from Trinamool, but she is a woman. She is from the, the art and culture fraternity. And above all, keeping all the sarcasm away, she is an anchor of a popular women's show where women come and share their plight, their woos. And here we have Rochona Banerjee saying that she will have to find out whether Sheikh Shah Jahan was really guilty or not. Well, in other words, it means that Sheikh Shah Jahan is falsely implicated because she is saying that women are speaking truth or not needs to be found out. She has her problem in accepting that Shandash Kali women are speaking the truth. And that is acceptable because she is the candidate of Srinamur. But questioning the authenticity of these women is an insult to these women. This party has gone so far, so far, they are, it has stooped so low that it has forgotten that in the uh, run up to the elections, in playing political games, in playing Trinamool versus BJP, BJP versus Trinamool, it has lost the basic humanity factor in itself. And these people will go to parliament if they are elected. What else can we expect from these MPs? However, it's too early to conclude whether she will at all go to the parliament or not. Because Lockett Chatterjee seems to be a very strong candidate opposite her. And Lockett Chatterjee, unlike Rachana Banerjee, didn't spend time, though she too was an actress, but didn't spend time dancing around trees and beating the bush. And in the later phase, holding a scripted TV show. But she had done some work on the on the grounds and lastly i live up to the people the electorates whether to elect these candidates or not think for yourself what will you get by electing these candidates will they be able to question in the parliament i doubt because we had numerous mps from respective parties they never question they come sit and leave the parliament when the parliament is over. 
and in Rajya Sabha, these MPs, they attend the session, put the attendance and take the daily wages and that's it. Decide for yourself whom to elect. Decide for yourself who can raise your voice in parliament. This is Palla Ghosh signing off for Nonsense of News. Once again, it was shameful to hear Rachana Banerjee saying that she will have to find out if Shandesh Kali women are true or faking. Disgrace.